Good day. Welcome back to our class in Chemistry Laboratory. Today, I am going to make a pre-lab lecture on the activity, the melting point and boiling point determination. For the substances that we are going to use in melting is the benzoic acid and for the boiling point determination is the ethyl alcohol. So for the first part of this activity, we are going to perform the determination of the melting point of benzoic acid. So let's get a capillary. This is what we call a capillary tube. It has a diameter of about one millimeter. Then into this capillary, we are going to put the benzoic acid up to a depth of three to five millimeters. So this is the benzoic acid. So I'm going to put the benzoic acid into this capillary. And after putting the benzoic acid into the capillary, I'm going to fasten this to the thermometer with the use of a rubber band. And after fastening this capillary to the thermometer, we are going to place the whole assembly into the oil bath. And we are going to determine its melting point. We are going to observe the benzoic acid as it starts to melt and until the whole of the benzoic acid will be melted. The time that the benzoic acid starts to melt until it is totally melted is what we call the melting point range of the benzoic acid. So we have already fastened the capillary containing the benzoic acid to the thermometer. And we're going to place this whole assembly into our oil bath. Then we're going to heat this oil bath and we're going to observe the temperature as the benzoic acid starts to melt and when it is totally melted. The benzoic acid starts to melt at 90 degrees. And it totally melted at 104 degrees centigrade. So the difference between 90 to 104 is what we call the melting point range. The second procedure is on the determination of the boiling point. The substance in which we are going to determine its boiling point is the ethyl alcohol. So we are going to place ethyl alcohol into a test tube. And we are going to fill this with 5 ml of the ethyl alcohol.
into this ethyl alcohol who are going to place a capillary in such a way that it is in an inverted position, meaning the opening will be placed downward. And we are going to fasten this to a thermometer. So I have here already the assembly of the ethyl alcohol into which I place the capillary and we are going to place this whole assembly into the water bath. We are going to observe when the ethyl alcohol starts to boil that is manifested by the bubbling of the ethyl alcohol as manifested by the capillary tube until all the ethyl alcohol is evaporated off. Then we are going to heat this until the ethyl alcohol starts to bubble. So you have seen the bubbles emitted by the ethyl alcohol through the capillary tube that we place into it. The bubbling started at 78 degrees centigrade and the entire volume of the ethyl alcohol was consumed in evaporating at 80 degrees centigrade. That would be all for today. What I would like you to do is you are going to make all the observations that you have done and please write a formal report about this activity. That would be all and this is your teacher, Professor Nisitas Ruiz of Holy Name University.